Hi guys and welcome back to today's build guide. It's going to be on the double O or HO colliery pit head winding gear model. This is the N-gauge model but we'll compare them both once they're built, size difference and whatnot. So to start with we're going to need to cut out the model from the cardstock, how it arrives. There's five pieces for the double O version. So We'll cut them out and we'll get to the pieces that we need to build or to begin the process of building the model and we'll get to it. So I'll cut all these pieces out now. I'll put them into some kind of order so all the parts are nice and locatable, if that's a word. <coughs> and I'll zoom in and I'll get the parts ready, what we need to require to build the first piece of the process, okay? <coughs> okay, I've got all the pieces cut out of the cardstock. And to begin with, we're going to get the four structures to the model. They're all the same size. We've got four pieces, and it's not the longer one. Don't worry, these can only be connected one way, one way round. But we want to look for the one. You've got three matching ones, and one has slots both sides. That's going to be, become the front to our model here. It's going to become this part here where the front arms connect to. So we're going to work with that to begin with. So where these legs are cut out, that's the bottom of the model. That's the bottom of the, the tower. So I'm going to work with that towards me. And the notches for the opposite sides can only go in one way. It will not allow you to go in the other way. So it's a case of simply lining up these notches, holding that at 90 degrees to the part on the table and attaching in place. So I'm going to use super glue as I like to do with my models and for speed with the videos. By all means use whatever glue will work for you. Just take your time and get it right. I'm going to start just at the top piece, just get that corner secure. And then I'm going to work to the middle. And then right down to the bottom. Okay, so that's the first part done. I'm going to take another one of the sides. Again, make sure the feet are at the bottom. They all match. It'll, again, it'll only go in one way. I'm going to repeat the process. Glue from the top and work my way towards myself. I'm only putting the super glue in dabs for quickness. Ideally, you want to run a complete bead from top to bottom with whatever glue you want to use, and just allow that to dry. And obviously, that will add strength to the model once it's dried. But for the video's sake, for the quickness, I'm doing as little as possible so we can get through it. Okay, so there now, 90 degrees to the model. We've got the space, we've got the front. So we want to take our four internal structure or support squares doesn't matter which way round they go but I'm simply going to align the edge of the square the center of the beam and the beams on the sides so I'm just going to pry it apart slightly slide that in center it in that central beam there and both sides will look good there. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to apply some glue in them corners and down the sides to secure it in place. Okay. 
that's the first one done. With the other three, it's the same process for the beams behind it, right down to the last beam above the legs of the, the tower. So I will slide it in, line it up the same way we just did, level in those beams, run across. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to apply some glue. Do the next one down now. And then we're going to finish up with that last one. Okay, so I'll spin it around just so you can see what I've done. With the base here, the bottom, that's where the legs are, these splits. We've lined those central supports with the beams going up. So there's four, four beams, four internal supports, and we've basically lined them up in the centre of each beam. At the bottom and the two sides. So we're now going to take our last remaining square piece. Uh, side piece. Again it will only go in one way now because of the slots in our model so it won't go that way just flip it over put it in that way and just line up all those notches and once we're in just glue in a similar fashion to how we did before so I'm going to start at the top corner, I'll just flip it over so I can do it. And then I work my way in, and where possible flip it over, spin it around so I can reach in. If you're using PVA glue or something like that, you could possibly put it on a paintbrush and reach through the girders to access those tight spots. So this is one of the corners that needs gluing. I'm just going to squeeze them both together with my fingers. I'm just going to run some glue into that corner. And then I'm going to try and reach through the model and drip some glue into that corner piece. Move further up. Then I'm going to finish up in the corner again, just run that bead of glue right down that edge, make sure those legs are touching. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the process for the other side that's not been glued yet. So that corner, then hold that into place, let that glue set. Remember when you're doing it, ensure that you've got all these corners right the way along in the inside with a nice bead of glue just to ensure that it fully sets solid. Okay, so that's the first main part of the model constructed. 
So what we want to do next is construct the beams coming off. And because the model is so big, for post wise, it's been split into two. So they're these parts we've got here. So we've got two matching parts. That are going to be joined together like so. So I'll just show you the one for now, one side. So we have the square box section at the top. We have the arm coming towards ourselves. We're going to take the other piece, it has like a slanted T. We've got the legs at the bottom, and that is going to mate up like so. So you can see there properly. So we've got the box section at the top, the angle running right down, and the two central shafts coming towards us. Now to secure that in place, we supplied you with this little part, and that will fit perfectly. When they line it up the right way on that section of the pot model there. So I'm going to apply glue to one half of this. And just align that shape, that cut out, so we've got half of it hanging over the bottom. Like so. So that's now attached, we've got the half hanging over, and that's simply going to join those two halves together like so. So now I'm going to rub some glue on this side. I'm going to bring those two halves together, align them up as best as possible, and that's one half now completely joined. What we want to do for the other half, we want to work in the opposite direction. So bring your pieces, so they form a pyramid shape like so. So we're now going to attach our joining part on this side of the model. And the reason for this is we want to hide the joining part on the inside of the model once we've built it. So we, want, we don't want them both built on the same side, otherwise one will be on the exterior. So ensure you follow this process to ensure that you get both connecting parts on the inside of your model and out of view. So I'm just going to touch that first joint of piece again the same process as before, halfway over, half of it's hanging over. I put some glue on this half now. I'm going to put those two sides together and glue where that overlaps. So there we are. We've got two opposite sides for the model. So we're going to bring back our tall structure, our tower, and find the side with the slots on. That's this side for me. So we've got the slots here. Slot further down here and a slot at the bottom here. So we've got our slots here, 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 and the same one again on the back. Now remembering that this is the base with our feet, we're going to take the part that we require with this joining part on the inside, so that being on the inside of the model, and I'm just going to simply slide these tabs through them slots like so and then we're going to apply some glue again on the inside like so try and hold that at 90 degrees if possible while that glue sets I'm now going to do the same process for the other side so let's flip it round 
remember we've got that joining part on the inside here we've now got the joining part on the inside this side as well so find them slots, find them tabs put them in, poke them through like so take your glue and again glue down them inside edges where those two card pieces meet and that's enough to secure it in place okay so we're starting to get somewhere so our next big piece to put on is the last remaining long side and that's going to go down the front of the model remember that these notches, these cutouts are our feet and again it can go either way, doesn't matter this one and it will slot into the notches cut out of the side pieces on both sides like so. So a bit of a top tip for you here if you don't want to secure it all in place until you know it's right. If you get yourself some masking tape or some unsticky tape you can tape these edges until you're happy with the position before you start to glue it in place and then you can commit to gluing it. So for the video I think that's about it for me. I'll try and reposition it as I go. So I'm going to start at the top here and I run some glue down this edge where those two cards meet and we just want to bring it so it's nice and flush. Just give that glue a bit of time to set. And I'll come down to the feet where these join and run some glue down that gap, bring them to meet and again try and keep it nice and flush here. Okay, so I'm going to do this side now. So I'm just going to pry it apart a bit with my fingers, not too much because you'll pull it apart. Just enough to get some glue in. Make it nice and flush at the front. Just allow that glue to set. There we are. So, same again for the feet. Just going to pry it apart a bit. Pry some glue in that gap. And then bring them together so it's nice and flush on the front. And then the last thing we can do is turn the model over onto its side. And where we have this notch, you can run some glue just on that and squeeze that front onto it, secure the side properly. Flip it over, same again on the other side. Okay, now yourselves, take the time to go down the inside each half of this and again glue it securely into place it'll just add strength to the model so the next part we need is going to be this shape that has a little V cut out of it we want the V pointing to the base of the model and it's going to fit just above this so angle it slightly back slot it just behind that and then twist it round and those notches on the sides We'll line up. Like so. So I'm just going to hold this corner into place. Apply some glue down the back side of it again. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the other side. Hold that into place with two fingers. Just apply some glue. And 
and just where these meet at the front I'm going to just apply a bit of glue there as well so I'm just going to push it back slightly and I'll have some glue to set there excellent so the next part we need is going to be the deck for the top so this hasn't got any notches for it to glue on it's simply a case of lining it up so it hangs over about 5 mil on each end and to do it properly it's probably better putting it on the table and putting it on top like that so we want the slot the, with the gap here putting towards the front of our model that's where the cables would run down and just line that up best and as square as you can like so, so that's about right there okay so I'm happy with that now I'm just going to hold it at the top that'll allow me to have a free hand I'm just going to glue all these edges which touch the card base or deck that it will become all the way around okay so I've put some glue on every piece of piece of uh, structure that touches this top deck and that'll secure that into place. I'm going to flip it around. You can see now that's firmly attached. So the next part we want to do is our fencing. It's going to slot into these long slots. We've got a long one, long one and a shorter one. A bit obvious which one's going to go on which, but we've got a notch if you notice at the back of one and it's flush on the other. So we want the notch towards the back slot. So just slide that in it'll stand up by itself apply some glue down the inside edge to secure it and I'm going to do the opposite side to that again with the notch at the back towards the back slot Okay, so they're glued on now. So I'm going to bring our back railing. This has two notches cut out at either end and a notch at the bottom. So just align all them notches up to the railings that we've attached before and the one at the base, like so. And just drop some into those corners. And on the back side again, just apply some glue there. So they're all now attached to the top, as you can see. Right, so we come to the wheels and little bits we've got left here. So I'm going to attach all these on first. Like so. So they can go either way. But we've got four slots at the top. We've got four parts. And they'll only go in one way. Either way, so it doesn't matter which way we go, they're equal and the same size so just make sure that they're standing up as straight as you can get it this way so I'm just going to apply some glue in that slot allow that to stand there same again with the next one and get another piece So, and before we glue this last one on, we've got two small little round dots in the model. I'm going to take one of them and we're going to glue so it's covering the hole like so. So I'll do that now. Okay, 
Okay, so that's glued into position now, it's covering that hole. So we want to position that, so that round dot now is on the outside. Like so. So it's on the outside edge and the round dot is on the outside edge also. Okay, so we're going to take our supplied cocktail stick. I'm going to cut one pointy edge off to begin with. I'm just going to do that with a Stanley knife. Okay, so that's nice and square now. So I'm just going to simply push that through all the way until it touches that dot we glued on earlier. And then we're going to mark it where it needs cutting. So we're going to mark on the outside edge of this. Make sure that's pushed in all the way. So we're going to cut it there on the outside edge of this card. So I'm just going to take it away, cut that off. Just test fit that. Okay, you can see mine sticking out just a bit, so I'm going to take just a Mill or two off mine. Okay, that should be good. So, taking our two wheels, I'm going to hold them in the gap. We're going to thread our stick through, right the way through, like so. Okay, and where that Sticks just protruding. Now we're going to glue this other dot to stop the cocktail stick coming out. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is just evenly space our wheels. So we'll start with one, just do this by eye. But the main thing we want to focus on is keeping this 90, 90 degrees to the model and nice and straight. And then I'm going to apply some glue on that cocktail stick where it goes through the center of the model. I'm just going to move this one over a bit so there's a bit of a gap in between them. Again, holding it at 90 degrees to that model, apply some glue to that cocktail stick. There we are. So that's nice and glued on the top. And that completes the colliery by NC Unic. I'll just zoom out now and give you a better picture of the model complete. Okay, so thanks for coming along for the build guide for the how to build the colliery head for double O or HO. As you can see it's quite an impressive structure and I left these a bit so they could be motorised if that's something you wanted to model. I didn't do it as a fixed structure as such so you could quite easily run a, a motorised shaft through them wheels. I've done the whole slightly oversized compared to the cocktail stick so you've got that choice whether you want to motorise them. Again you could run some a cage up and down going off them or just have the wheels spinning for a bit of a, an eye catching feature on your layouts. It's a good easy build, it's not a hard one to do this one but looks very impressive. Once painted up even better. So we do offer the model as it comes either pre-painted by us, it will come in a dark steel grey like, like this one here in the video or you can buy it as an unpainted version and once built give it a blast with some spray. Uh, and that's how you spray and age that once it's complete or you get my model which is in a base grey again you need to go over it and age and whether it's your liking it just comes as a bog standard flat grey for you to as a base guide but yeah it's fantastic this model I'm really impressed it looks great on the layouts so thanks for coming for the build guide again my name's Tom and we hope to do some more HO this week if possible uh, so again, as always, check the website out, that's 
n-sheenick.co.uk see what we've got to offer see what you've got to fancy if i've not got something you like let me know i'll get on to it it's uh, something i can get me a drive quite quickly so i can get that done for you and others potentially if it's something that you want on the market that's not currently there let me know by all means uh, and for doing that i'll give you a great discount for passing that on if it's something we can do and put forward for development so as always take care of yourselves Take time, take your time building the models and just enjoy. See you later. Bye bye.